I'm so excited to bring this video to you today. This is something I've been wanting to do for over a year. When we first began selling water ionizers, I would not tell people that the water disinfected on contact or that it disinfected at all because I just wasn't sure of it. And I couldn't do that morally and ethically until I really believed it, just because other people told me it was true. So now we're going to do a demonstration. It's really thrilling for me. We have some friends that own a bacteria meter that's made for the health department. This meter costs a thousand dollars. Our friends have done the test before. I've never done this. This is going to be my first time. I've heard that it works really well and they've generously loaned it to us. So uh, we're making acid water fresh for you. This is 10.5 pH coming out of the alkaline side. So we have strong acidic water in the bottom. This is just a plastic spray bottle that was completely empty and I'm pouring some of the acidic water in it now and the best place that I could think of to find some bacteria was the bathroom handle and I chose the men's bathroom because I have a suspicion that men don't always wash their hands but uh, we'll give that a try we'll see how it works and um, I think I've got enough acid water there we'll turn this off this is our Chanson VS70 machine that we made that from Chanson VS70 is one of the only machines on the market that can make disinfecting acid water on contact at full strength. And we love that about this machine. And I'm just going to come on over here. And the first thing we're going to do is test the handle to prove that there's bacteria there. I've never done this test, so I don't know. I'm just thinking that it will have it. And um, never done this, so we're just going to fiddle with it there. Okay, so I've pulled the cap off. I've got this little testing swab. And I'm just going to kind of rub around on this handle. I'm going to go on the inside of it and just get it all over. And when the health department goes into restaurants to test for bacteria, they um, say that anything over 30 is a not acceptable bacteria and anything under 30 is considered safe. So we put the cap back on. There's a little tube up here. We're going to squeeze that and break that. Um, and get all the liquid down in there. I'm told I'm supposed to shake it, so I'm going to shake it just a little bit here. And we've already turned the meter on to calibrate it. And we put this in the meter and close it and press OK. And it's going to begin to tell us if there's bacteria in there. This is counting down seconds right now while it's doing whatever it does. It's not telling us the uh, amount of bacteria. But again, anything over 30 is unacceptable levels of bacteria. Ooh, that door handle has 160. Cameraman, can you do a close-up on that? 160, um, whatever you call this measurement, I'm afraid I don't know. But we're going to take this out and we're going to, let me spray some acid water on this. We're going to just spray that real good and on the inside and I've got a real nice cherry wood door here. So I'm going to wipe this water off and, okay, let me just get the door here and we'll take out that bad bacteria one. This is a fresh one, never been opened. I'm going to open this and I'm going to again test the handle and put it back in the tube, break it, shake it, And we'll put it back in this little handy dandy, very expensive meter. And I'm going to press OK. And it's going to take about 15 seconds to measure the difference in the bacteria level with the acid water that was made from a chance in VS70 with the alkaline level set at 10.5. OK, that is a 15, folks. That is more than acceptable within health department standards and it went from 160 down to 15 
by spraying disinfectant acid water on it. And 15 is considered acceptable levels of bacteria. Thank you, and I hope that helps. For more information, please visit www.chansonwater.com.